an obsessive archaeologist wants to restore former glory with the help of an arcane technique, but it will mean the corruption of something pure. Fuck yeah. Let's see, they can restore former glory um, to say the bones, I guess? I guess restore former glory to archaeology and like museums and such with an arcane technique. But it'll corrupt something pure, so I guess maybe innocence or something? Ooh, that's so good. Good morning, everyone. We're kind of a little close here, but we're nearing the end of our week of creativity. Uh, ignore my lip. Uh, hanging out with my boyfriend, he accidentally bit it. it. No big deal. Anyway, so this is the second last short story of the creative re- week of creativity. Um, and the prompt for this one is, an obsessive paleontologist wants to restore former glory with the help of an arcane technique but it'll mean the corruption of something pure. Now, I'm aware that in just a moment ago, I said an obsessive archeologist, except I mis- messed up archeology span and paleontology when I was writing the short story and I ended up talking to dinosaurs a lot. So I'd switch to the paleontologist. Simple as that. <laughs> So yeah, this one is titled Complete Fantastical Logic. And so yeah, I hope you guys enjoy it. One month. That's all the time that remains until the museum shuts down with all the contents inside either being transferred to a new museum or tossed, burned, forgotten. Museums have been closing down left and right ever since the religious took over, putting an end to history jobs left and right. In my sector, our- My sector, paleontology have quite possibly faced the most backlash and cuts ever since the change. Even with little bones as proof, they refuse to believe that there was a time before humans. Evolution? Impossible. Dinosaurs? Complete childish fantasy. Even with the current animals and populations actively evolving, they still say it's all false, indoctrinating their children to go against religion, saying that we're all sick in the head. Meanwhile, they're pushing the reality of a god while they've never actually physically seen one. Oh, but I felt him. Bullshit. You're telling yourself that you felt him just because you feel sorry for yourself and want to fit in. Worst part is, a majority of the people are following the belief of the new leaders, even the people who had once fought against them. Now, the only people who are not blinded by the fear of what will happen to them are the scientists, historians, archaeologists. Everyone who has seen reality firsthand, but we've been silenced, fired, even murdered. I had spent my entire life studying dinosaurs and bones. Hell, the cake for my fifth birthday party was even a dinosaur themed, and I tore that thing apart till I was confident I had collected every last chocolate and gummy bone. My parents had to do a ton of apologizing that day, but I didn't care, and still don't to this day. Just like how I don't care what I have to destroy like my past five-year-old self, I will tear down every single religious person and barrier in my way, till the truth is revealed. And now, and I know just how to do it. The first museum I ever worked at is as tall as it is long, and is scheduled to be the last destroyed due to protective laws and all of that all of the reserving and planning that would have to be taken care of in order to ensure every last bit of history in fact is abolished. Good thing processes take forever, no matter what government is in charge. But even then, it's still just a month left, I hi- and I highly doubt they will accept delays of any kind, so I have to do this as fast as possible. Luckily, I was able to get my hands on a copy of the keys. The gender and I were buddies back in the day, and was more than willing to give me a set. Other than the tons of boxes and dust and several paintings and statues being taken off of their pedestals, this place is basically the complete same as it was but was over 40 years ago. But I know that there is just one thing within this building that I really truly need to hope hasn't been packed away or burned just yet. The scroll in the basement. The red lights overhead do not make it easy to keep my cool. I may be a scientist and a grown man at that, but red over 
but red everywhere combined with dark shadows and a ton of dead things can still manage to make me terrified at every turn. But I must muster through, for the sake of science and reality. The sharp teeth on the skull of the sharp teeth on the skull of the Tyrannosaurus Rex is devilish is a devilish grin and lopsided build that could easily crush me. And uh, due to all the museums being take being shut down, with anyone entering facing punish a punishment as light as ten years in prison, I sincerely doubt I'd be found before death greets me, and my body joins that of the dinosaurs. The building is cold, as if ghosts cover covered every centimeter of this dying place. In, e in each piece of art, bone, and lead, painting alike, takes me back to when I was just a young man fresh out of university, in love with history and dinosaurs. Working here had even inspired me to write my research paper back when I was getting my PhD. The cracks in the walls from reckless transport men, the chipped paint, the cobwebs and dust in every corner that no janitor could reach, all of it makes me feel young and bright-eyed once again. It all reignites a fire within me, that one that reassures me that I can't back down till the religious has been abolished. I march past the old corner I used to hide away and eat my lunches, still cracked and dark, in an area that nobody bothers to go by. It was sad, I know, but I've always felt comfortable in that tight little area between the dinosaur exhibit and the, and the cafeteria. The floors creak and walls echo as I continue forward, not needing to read the signs up above to know where I'm going. They wouldn't have moved it. In fact, I doubt anyone that has worked here other than a few heads even know it exists. The fascinating scent of old still permeates the entire building, which I've always known to love and accept. Almost as though it is out of my control, I run my hand along the black, white, and gold marble walls, ignoring the dust that collects on my fingertips. My hand then runs over a button, and the heavy metal door to my right begins to slowly open, and I'm soon met with a dark, steep, musky staircase. Each step creaks as I carefully make my way down, scanning my surroundings with the little vision I have in this pitch black area. It's not long before I'm halfway down, still terrified that I'll tumble and break my neck. It feels as though the walls are closing in, preparing to squish and ferment me till I'm oil. The coarse stone and wood all around me makes me feel stuffy and forces my eyes to water. I trip on one final step, but manage to catch myself on a wall nearby and begin feeling around for a loose brick, memorizing each slight indent and crevice, each scar that adds to a bit of history to this earth, until I finally find it. With all my strength, I push onto the brick that has an indent of a building and immediately take a step back, blocking my nose and closing my eyes. Can't let the fumes like last time send me to the emergency room. After about a minute or two of silently waiting off to the side of the entrance, I enter the cavern. The flame in the center is still there, as red and, uh, and bright as ever, illuminating the entirety of this small area. And that's when I see it, the scroll on the other side of the room, still stained and preserved in dust, untouched. Perfect. My voice chokes out, and I begin to cough trying to not breathe in the air. With no hesitation, I bolt straight for the scroll, ignoring the hundreds of other artifacts and books. I don't bother checking for booby traps before grabbing onto it. I know this place like the back of my hand, and if there were any then, then I would have set them off years ago. Blowing and dusting off the paper, I begin carefully unraveling, ignore, and I begin carefully unraveling, ignoring my racing heart and shaking hands. Maneuvering myself in the paper against firelight, I allow my eyes to fall upon the symbols and words before me. The scroll. It, the scroll. It will help make everything okay again. Scientists, historians, everyone and everything will go back to normal. And those damn religious freaks will no longer have control over us. Hell, I could even try to make it so then the scientists are in charge. That way we could completely abolish religion, and the world will only remain in pure, unfiltered facts. With a breath and a tap of the heels, a word shall be uttered. The eyes will glow, the eyes will, oh, the eyes will open, the eyes will glow. But fear of such will not remain. The word will be true, and the truth will be untouched. Time will change, and all for the price of what is left. Every day I get hundreds of messages from people telling me that I've messed up. 
and that I've ruined the world just because I couldn't wait for years. But they're the ones that are wrong. It has been eight years since that day, and I couldn't be happier. All of my dreams came true. Religion was abolished, and only logic had remained. Sure, that sweet neighbor of mine from down the street that just wanted everyone to love each other became a raging bitch. But you know what? Perhaps religion was the root cause of that in everybody already. Though, now that I think about it, a lot of the nice people I've met before that were religious became asses. They had even helped and supported me through my PhD. Hell, they were quite possibly the embodiment of what religion should have been. Love, kindness, and peace. Perhaps I did mess up. Nah. I'm retiring next week as a millionaire, I laughed to myself, sipping on a glass of champagne while I relaxed by the beach, listening as my grandkids run around and play. I wouldn't trade this even for the world peace. And that is complete fantastical logic. I hope you guys had all enjoyed it. There are a few things that ended up gained past me while I was editing, like for instance, in my sector archaeology, I had to switch to in my sector paleontology. I even reread it three times to make sure I didn't miss anything, but whoops, still missed it. Paleon, paleontology. I don't know how to spell paleontology, so I'll let Autocrack fix it. There we go. Alrighty, looks good. And I hope you guys have a great rest of your days. And tomorrow's the last day of the week of creativity. And just so you guys know, um, you guys are actually getting an entire week of um, short stories. Because I didn't realize that I'm reading chapter 9 of Shroud of Personas on Sunday. Well, I already read it and scheduled it. But you guys are getting an entire week of stories. So I hope you guys enjoyed it. <laughs> Uh, And yeah, have a great rest of your days, and I'll see you guys tomorrow, and the day after that, and then a week after that.